Hi there, Bonnie B here with Hen Crown Hair Extensions, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare your crown topper to wear it straight out of the package so that it looks the most natural on you. This is what you'll need to prepare your hidden crown topper straight out of the package. A comb, your hidden crown rat tail comb works best, a spray bottle of water, and your blow dryer. Let's get started. So when you get your hidden crown topper, in the mail, it comes in this really nice white box. It is a magnetic closure, so you can also travel with it anywhere you go when you're not wearing your hidden crown topper or just to store overnight when you're not wearing it. So when you open it, take out your hidden crown topper and it's going to have a plastic insert in this. And I suggest you leave that in for this particular styling just because it helps hold the base sturdy because it is a very flexible base. So you will see first that the head and crown topper has a tag on it. You definitely don't wanna remove this in case you want to exchange or return it. Definitely make sure you're going to keep it before you remove the tag. Other things you're going to see is possibly some parting in it that looks like missing hair or like it's thinning, but honestly, it's only the fact that it's human hair. It's been packaged for probably a few weeks by the time you get it, and it is human hair. So when it bends and moves within the package, the hair will stay that way, just like our own hair does on our heads. So we're going to get started with fluffing this up. I'm going to go ahead and remove the tag. And the first thing I'm gonna do is line up where I would want a part, or if you don't want a part. So if you did not want a part, I would spray all in the base, and then you're going to tip it like this and blow dry the hair so that the part disappears in, if you're not wanting a part. So if you do want a part, like for myself, like I part on either side, I go back and forth. So when I decide to wear my hair on one side and I need to change my part from wearing it on the other side the previous time, then you're going to do this as well. You're going to spray the rooting with water. You're not gonna drench it. Just lightly spray it so that it's damp and the hair will move and redirect itself for you. To get started, go ahead and spray and separate hair. As you can see, I'm not spraying very much, not getting it soaking wet. This also helps fluff up the hair and the rooting to give more volume because in the package, the hair comes pretty flat other than the dome shape that the piece is connected to on the inside. And I always recommend to keep that plastic insert dome, just so in case you don't wanna worry about the, the mesh losing its round shape overnight, it helps keep it you know, nice and sturdy and you won't have, you'll have to do minimal fixing the next day when you go to wear it again. Okay, so I've got it pretty damp. I'm gonna go ahead and comb all the hair. And so if I did not want a part, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, see how the part is somewhat disappearing now? I'm just kind of brushing all the hair the same direction. Now, another thing too, you can wear it vertically. As you can see, there's about an inch difference in the roundness and it's more of like an oval. And so you can wear it horizontally. And most women I find wear it horizontally without a part because it creates so much volume this way and it creates volume in this type of shape on top of your head or your crown, which if you don't wear parting, most women wear it a little further back on their head around their crown part without a parting. So there's the horizontal way or the vertical way. Your topper is going to come vertically with a part down the center. So if you wanna change that, you can do so with this method. So I'm gonna go ahead and create no parting with it horizontally to show you how easy this is to do. Okay, so you want to only spray it with water lightly so that you're not sitting and having to blow dry it forever and ever and ever. 
doing it slightly is just gonna give it perfect amount of volume and lift and to be able to retrain the hair however which direction you want it to go. So as you can see, it's nice and round and full and there is no split in the hair, just creating a part or anything, it's just straight back. And so a lot of women, you know, they wear that back there and look how much volume I haven't, you know, I'm not securing it to my head, but if I were to, it's gonna give me a ton of volume in the back crown area. Okay, so let's say you have a party and you want to line it up first. That is primarily the first thing you're gonna do when you go to recreate a part in the area that you need it to. So I suggest doing the vertical, but you can do the horizontal way as well with creating a new part. It's strictly up to you. I prefer wearing it vertical, and then I create a part on either side of the clip, whichever way I'm wearing my hair that day. Today I'm wearing it on my right over here, and I do do it far over on the right. So I kind of just line up the clip center, and then I'm going to look over here, and I'm going to just kind of take my finger you can even use your comb and then hold that, bring it down in front of you. So now that you've lined up the part, just lightly wet some more. Use your comb to get a, a clean parting. You're going to comb the hair either direction. And the, and the side that has the most hair I start with first because that's usually the side that's going to be somewhat resistant when it's already been going the other way. I take my blow dryer and go ahead and start blow drying that side first. And it's that easy. It's super easy to maneuver the hair however which direction that you need it to go. And I change mine all the time, sometimes daily, because I am really loving my crown topper. So once you have decided which direction you want your hair to go on your crown topper, you're then going to go ahead and place it on your head. And if you have any bends or indents in the hair from it laying in the package, however which way, if you have a wig head, like a styrofoam wig head or a doll head or anything to clip it onto something in front of you to style, that's one way to do it. Or you can go ahead and place it on your head and clip it in place and then go ahead and straighten out the hair as you would your own or curl it however which way you want to style it. It's that easy and I definitely am super excited for you to try the crown topper. If you have any questions or concerns, email us at accounts at hiddencrown.com. And that's it. Thanks for watching.